while it's nice that you're not dealing with a scrub, somebody who's not struggling, Inosei's lifestyle is so drastically different than hers. Keep watching to find out what that has to do with today's book. Hey, I'm Kyla Denagno and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we are talking about one of my favorite books and that is a book called A Love Nora or Norier, okay? Because the protagonist famously says in the book, Norier, the American way, right? Not Nora, the way that the French pronounce it. And so the author of the book is Erica Simone Turnipseed. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is romance literature, okay? So this book is so important to me because Norier is dating Inose and they absolutely are obsessed with each other but they cannot figure each other out, okay? You have a wealthy person and a person who is used to working very hard for everything. How, how do they mix? How do they come together, right? It's your Carrie Bradshaw and Mr. Big. Oh, as long as you're buying me the stuff I wanna see, sure, Carrie could care less. <laughs> or at least we didn't get into that point of the relationship too deep. Well, this entire book is about that struggle. Norir is watching Inose and his lifestyle and she is absolutely blown away. And so when she meets his sister, Muriel, they're in the middle of this big argument and Norir cannot even get over herself to be nice to Muriel. Even though this is the first time she's met anyone in his family, they've been dating for over a year, she could care less. When she finds out that Muriel met some people and she, she goes off <laughs> okay and the reason why that is so groundbreaking to me is because Norir is a nice girl she doesn't rock with you she just won't be around you but other words she's not rude that is just her being so true to who she is right and I know that Inose is the type where you just don't put your issues out there you don't lay it all out on the table you don't make a big scene you don't make a fuss Norir could care less no 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 you're gonna find out I'm upset you're gonna find out right now whoever is here is gonna find out too, <laughs> okay? And that is one of the things that I really loved about the book because I see a lot of myself in Norier. My partner has a lifestyle that is so wildly beyond anything I ever could have imagined. Like I remember going to his mother's house and she had masseuse coming to her house to give her a massage, right? Like she didn't even have time to go out to the place and I was like, I didn't even know you could do that. So the most important part about, you know, the things that I've learned from dating my partner and the things that Norier is learning from NLSA is that everyone is going to have different levels of success and different levels of things that bring them comfort, okay? I would never have someone come to my house and give me a massage. Would I spend $200 on dinner? Probably. But if you can't get with someone who does everything that you do and you guys are both enjoying the same things, at least get with someone who can empathize with them and appreciate them. Okay, and so I can appreciate the differences in my partner. Norea could not appreciate the differences between her and Inose. She resented him for it. And there's a part in the book where she actually says, you know, I resent you for your success. I resent the fact that I am pulling change out of the couch, literally, and you've saved up, you know, six months expenses and you're not even thinking about it, right? Like that's a completely different concept to her. So while it's nice that you're not dealing with a scrub, somebody who's not struggling, and then the two of them are just clashing, but they want to be together, but they just cannot get over the differences. Oh, can you see why I love it? <laughs> so you've been watching the video. Have you ever dated anyone and your, your jobs, your social circles, anything just clashed so much you just could not get over it? Or do you know any other books where things like this happen, right? Tell me about them so that I can read those books and see how I feel about another story with the same kind of theme, okay? So thank you for spending your time with me. I do appreciate it. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.